So welcome back to Silver Linings. My name is Chrissy. This is your 15 minute stretch sequence. Today, lots of lovely flowing cat and cows and just exploring a gentle opening and connecting breath and movement in a way that I think is gonna feel just lovely on the body and really centering for the mind. Now, what will you need? Just a mat or a towel on the floor. And then I'm going to recommend that if your knees are sensitive, have a towel handy so you can pad the knees because we're going to start kneeling. You might also want to have a cushion or something available for later on when we're seated. Really important, check that you can see me when you're kneeling and lying down, that way you won't need to move your device as we go through our sequence of stretches. And remember this is your time, so let's move mindfully. If something doesn't feel good, remember you can always leave it out. So go ahead and come down to kneeling and as I said, if you need to pad the knees, grab a towel, place it underneath or you can simply fold your mat over, creating that little bit of cushion. Sending the hands forward, I want you to take a minute to really spread the fingers out. Give me 10 fingers, place those hands directly underneath your shoulders and again check that the knees are padded if you need to and that they are directly underneath your hips. We're starting with some gentle wrist circles, so extend the arms but don't lock them out and start to circle around to the left and then to the right. So by spreading the fingers and putting a little weight in the different parts of the palm, we're creating a little opening for the wrist. Now, you might feel this more on one side than another. If you've ever had any wrist issues, don't worry, this isn't maybe the stretch for you. You can always just circle out your wrists in a nice seated posture. We're gonna take two more circles if you're here with me in all fours and then go ahead and reverse your circle. So around to the right. And breathe as you go. So as I said at the beginning there, what I want you to try to do is to take those deep restorative breaths as we take our flowing sequence of stretches. That will connect mind to body and realign where perhaps stress or fatigue has started to get you a little in your head. Good. From here, dial the fingers outwards. So the fingertips are now pointing to the edge of, of your mat. And again, you circle around. This is going to feel a little different. If it feels too much, go back to the first variation. We always stair step all of our sessions here such that you can find a version that's working for your body today. And remember that breath is flowing, spine is long, abs just gently pulling in, nothing crazy. Good. Let's reverse that circle. So again, just exploring the corners. We don't really give our wrists, all the extremities enough love. So this is why we're starting here today. Good. Okay, final stretch. Just dial the fingertips back forward and then only one palm will lift. So I'm taking the right palm up towards the sky, pressing down on the outside of my hand and then gently finding that arm extension. You may not be able to fully extend the arm. I'm getting a radiating stretch down the front of the forearm. If you're a tennis player, a golfer, this one's great for you. So put it into your toolbox right now. Good, let's switch hands. So left palm is up back of the hand pressing lightly down into the mat, that sense of extension. The more you move the weight, of course, forward and onto it, the more intense that stretch may become. Good. And then when you're ready, replace and everybody comes to all fours. If you are working with, with wrist issues, you know you can make a nice strong fist. That's a great modification for you. From here, we're exploring a flowing cat and cow. So exhale, curl the lower back, middle back, upper back and then finally the gaze curls in towards your abdominals and then reverse the curl so tailbone lifts chest lifts gaze lifts do that with a little more flow now so curl as you exhale inhale ripple back through fingertips are still spreading arms are long but not locked breath is flowing exhale the air out Inhale, melt the lower back without releasing your abs completely. So it's not a collapse. It's a contained, controlled spinal movement. Good, let's do that one more time before we make it into a circular cat and cow. So we exhale to curl. We inhale, rise the chest. Maybe raise a smile. Good, so I'll show you the circle. We curl in the center and then we dial it over into the left side. 
You can bend the elbows as you circle through center, dro dropping that chest and then come over to the right. So some people call this lioness. For my lions and lionesses, explore moving the head, moving the hips. Maybe you're getting a little blah, lower back, middle back. Really, this will just hit you right where you need it, which is why it's such a great little way to move. Good, breathing as you go. Let's reverse that circle, so all the way around. Pushing into one hand and then the other, finding that sinewy movement through the spine. Two more. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. <laughs> Good. Lovely. Nice. And from there, just take the knees a touch wider. If you need to adjust your padding, then do so. If your knees are very sensitive, you could pop a towel behind your knees so you don't have to sit as deeply into your child pose. Everybody meets down in their version of child pose, pressing the hands forward, resting head to mat. Then from that lovely stretch, and you could give it a little wiggle here, that kind of feels good. We're going to walk the hands across to the left side. Right hand is going to thread on top of left, so I'm putting the hands kind of one on top of the other, like a little sandwich, interlacing fingers and then pushing along on that diagonal. So you're like a little C curve of the spine across to the left. Breathing into the right side, feeling space, extending the breath if you can, and remember to drop the shoulders down, easy into the mat. Beautiful. Let's take a walk across to the second side when you're ready. This time, left hand will interlace on top of right. It just gives you a little bit of purchase. And then don't be afraid to push the hips across to the left as you dial the head towards the mat and gently rotate and lower the shoulders down and into the back. Beautiful breath in. Feeling that left side now filling up with air. And exhale the breath out. Gently pad back to center and come on up. Padding the hands, rippling through the spine. The last thing to lift will be your head and your gaze. Take a beautiful circle of your arms. Good, do that two more times. Nice expansion of the chest, lifting the gaze. Beautiful. Last time, and we're going to settle just the right hand down, just on a diagonal away from your right foot. This is called the saddle stretch. So we tuck the pelvis, really hollow your abs, start to lift the hips up, and simultaneously float the left arm high. Your gaze can go to your right thumb. And if you're really lifting your abdominals, you'll start to feel this wonderful stretch across the front of the hips. It will be more intense on the left side because we're twisted. Breathe into it and then slowly lower down. Let's do that on the second side. So hands gonna come diagonally away from your left toes. Tuck the pelvis, that's how we protect the lower back. So if your lower back is sensitive, here's your moment and then lift your hips, float the arm. Maybe you rotate the gaze towards your left thumb this time. Keep scooping and pressing, lovely. And you don't have to come as high as me, you just want to explore that nice stretch. Good, come gently down everybody. Walking, padding the hands forward. We're gonna come and lie all the way down on your front. So, really important here, if your lower back is sensitive, Find a, a gentle lift in your abs. You can place your hands under your abdominals and go, ooh, just a little connection there. Hands go nice and wide, so think goal post arms. Feet can go as wide as the mats if your lower back is sensitive. If your lower back is good, I'm gonna say come hip socket width apart. And here we're gonna explore a wave-like gentle lift in the back body. So we curl chin to chest, we start to lift through the shoulders, as we come to the top of our range, which could just be a couple of centimeters, I don't mind, and then ripple that down. So the curl starts with the mid back, lifting to the bat, then we ripple neck, lift head, lift gaze. Think how it felt on our all fours with that cat and cow. It's a similar kind of rippling movement, aiming to open the front body and energize the back body. Two more. Good, getting maybe a touch higher with each ripple. Breathe and exhale out. As you exhale, slide the hands underneath your forehead. Bring the legs to touch. Good. Everybody sweep your right hand around. See if you can catch your right foot. Squeeze your heel to your seat and keep your knees connecting for the moment. 
Lift your abs again and check your square. So both hips are even to the floor. Then we come into a deeper front of thigh stretch. Maybe you're able to lift that knee off, maybe you're not. Whichever is true for you, try to really squeeze the heel tighter and lift the chest a little if that feels okay. If your neck is stressing, just rest your head down. All good. Nice. Let's go back to that ripple. So release the leg, give your hips a little wiggle. That's just gonna release out your lower back. If there is any tension there, that will get rid of it. And then return the legs either to hip socket width apart or as wide as the mat. This time you could do hands wide. That's your option if your back is feeling sensitive. If your back is feeling good, bring your hands right underneath your shoulders, wrap your elbows in towards your ribs. Ripple all the way up. So high cobra or full up dog and then reverse and lower. So it's that rippling again. Breathing in as you lift, breathing out as you return with control to the mat. Make it smooth and as high as feels good. So if you're feeling any compression, squeezing in that lower back, go back to the wide position. You don't need to be a hero for our stretch sequences. No, it's all about you. Last one. Smoothly lift. Everybody rest down, bringing hands beneath your forehead. I'm just going to switch sides so you guys have all the information. Go ahead and sweep your left hand round now. See if you can draw the legs to touch. Squeezing left heel to seat. I'm bending into that left elbow. Tuck your pelvis just a little, so lift your abs, and then draw your knee one inch off the floor. Maybe it doesn't lift today, but the more you can squeeze the legs together, so the inner thighs are touching, and then draw the shoulders down, lifting into those abs, keeping hips square. So the wonderful thing about this stretch is that we can't cheat, which the body will always do. It's amazing at doing that. Good, gently release guys. Bring the hands down, you can rest your head for a moment. Dial your heels out and your toes touch and just wiggle your hips. Again, just a tiny release for the SI joint. And if you do suffer with any SI issues, this is a great one, again, to just have handy. Maybe do at night before you go to bed. Gently take the hands beneath the shoulders. Everybody slowly, mindfully pressing back to your child. Take a moment there to just settle the back. Let your head rest easy to the mat. And then padding all the way up to seated. Once more, let's circle the arms all the way back and around. Final little sequence, we're gonna be seated. So if you want to grab your cushion, or your folded towel, and you know you're a little tight in the hammies, then go ahead and grab that now. So, if you're sitting on your towel, just sitting up nice and tall if you're on your mat, send the legs long. If you know you're tight, bend your knees and flex your feet here. If you've got a little bit more range, you're aiming for three quarter length or full extension. Everybody take a moment to draw the spine tall. So if that means you need to bend the knees, that's all good. Draw the arms all the way up by your side, reach the arms high, and then as we exhale, we fold forward like a wave. Then we draw the arms along the sides of the legs, and we do that two more times. Think of it like a wave. So inhale up, exhale, forward fold, letting the head be heavy. One last time, and we're gonna stay in our forward fold. Now, you might wanna grab hold of your calves, your ankles or your feet. That will depend on your flexibility. Wherever you are, take a firm grip. They're your legs. And then go ahead and release into it. We're gonna stay here for a few breaths. Now, one thing that can feel good is just to separate the legs a little bit and let your head come into or near the space. Then let your arms collapse, let your head go heavy. And all we're gonna do is hang forward. Breathing into the back body, coming into what we call our parasympathetic nervous system. So. Rather than constantly being in a state of fight or flight, that panicked, stressful space that we tend to inhabit for our usual day, we're coming back to somewhere a little calmer, a little bit less hectic. And see if you can just allow the head to go heavy. So if you're holding on to any tension somewhere, now's the moment to just go, I don't need that, let it go, release. So I've just noticed my hips went, Whoa as I did it, so if you've had the same at home, good for you. Couple more breaths, guys. And if you're feeling the lower back, just breathe into those spaces. You're nice and safe here, nowhere to go. 
Inhaling deeply. Exhale. Last two deeper breaths. See if you can elongate the exhalation. And from that final long exhalation, just dragging the arms along the sides of the legs, curling gently. Think of rebuilding your spine, bone by bone, vertebrae by vertebrae, stacks up tall, the neck elongates, top of the head to the sky. Take one final breath all together, reaching breath into the body, reaching energy into the body, positive thoughts, and then exhale it all out as the hands come to rest at heart center. Just feel how you feel now. Maybe that's a little different from 15 minutes ago. And thank you for making that time to join me on the mat. It's always my pleasure to guide you guys through this little sequence that we do together. And I hope you can join me very soon back on the mat. Meanwhile, have a wonderful day, Silver Linus.